Good morning and welcome to Prime of Midlife. This morning I am starting with lentil soup. So I'm going to turn my middle slow cooker up to high. And <clears throat> because this is quite a sl small slow cooker, I'm going to start with one cup of lentils. Now this is a half cup measure because it's the one that fits in the neck of the jar. So, one cup of lentils. Then I have one cup of dried onions or probably two to three onions if you're using fresh. Then we need to get one of the main ingredients I forgot. Goodness gracious. Ham stock cubes. So two stock cubes for this. Goodness gracious. So we just throw them in there. Water. about right. So that's probably two thirds of a kettle full. Bit of salt and quite a bit of pepper. Now that will just go now for most of the day until it's all cooked down but as it's like not even seven o'clock in the morning <clears throat> perfect time to start some lentil soup now as you can see over there i've got the mushrooms i'm ready to deal with them as well but people have asked me what i do for my lentil soup so it's one cup of lentils one cup of dehydrated onions or two to three real onions Salt and pepper, that is basically it. And two ham stock cubes. Catch you later. Here we are with the tail end of the cooking of the lentil soup. Now, I have to say, I did not add a carrot to this one because the last time I made it, I didn't have carrots and I actually quite liked it. So, as you can see, it's sort of gone to a mush. You can still just about see the texture of the lentils but a lot of them have mushed down and that is for me that's just perfect i like having some of the lentil texture but i like it being mushy so yeah that to me is ready to cool down so i will switch off the slow cooker um obviously i'll have some for lunch but i will let that cool down now and what i will say about lentil soup is it tastes better on the second day, it always does, but get it tubbed up on the second day because it goes off really, really quickly. It, it turns sour very, very quickly. So once it's cooled down, you want to get that tubbed up so that you can use it for your lunches or snacks or dinner or whatever. So yeah, that's Karen's lentil soup. Voila!